I'm here to speak to you today about my new company, Funk Shoes. Um, after the uh, barefoot running movement in 2009, more and more people, myself included, uh, found better form, fewer injuries, and faster running by switching to barefoot or minimalist shoes. And as you can see by this obligatory graph that goes up and to the right, more and more people are searching for barefoot shoes all the time. Um, but the barefoot shoe industry is plagued by two fatal flaws. Number one, they are typically super ugly as pictured here. Um, and number two, if you find something that looks fairly cool, uh, it's likely very expensive. These are $200. So, uh, one night I was sitting in front of my closet trying to decide which ugly pair of shoes to wear, and I thought, I wonder if I could start a barefoot shoe company. This is a dramatization of that moment. And so here we are. Uh, Funk shoes are a barefoot shoe with a traditional sneaker look, and they feature a zero degree heel toe drop, a wide toe box so your foot can splay and move the way a, a foot is meant to, to move, optional stretchy laces so you can put your shoes on in under five seconds, a five millimeter thickness so you can feel the ground under you without muttering curse words in front of your children if you step on a rock, and they're competitively priced at $69.99, and my favorite, they look like a traditional sneaker instead of something that stepped out of Planet of the Apes. So, um, if this sounds interesting to you, there are two ways you can invest in our company. Um, the first way is you can buy new funks every year for life for just $359.99, which gives us an infusion of cash in the beginning when our company needs it the most, and it gives you a new pair of awesome shoes every year and a really cool story to tell at dinner parties for the rest of your life. Um, and the other way you can partner with us is you can fund a shoe order. Our per unit price more than triples if we buy 100 shoes instead of 1,000 shoes. And so if you help us get to that price break, we're offering you a straight up royalty deal. And here's that structure. So you loan us $10,000, we pay back $5 on every order, you get back $13,000. So you make 30% on your investment, and we expect you to, to get that uh, return realized in under one year. We're looking for one more investor, and if that sounds like you, see us after the pitches tonight to help us grow Funk Shoes, and in return, we'll help you grow your bank account. Thank you. Hi, my name's Toma, I'm with Communal, and um, we are a community engine, and I'm gonna channel my inner Simon Sinek to help you understand what that means. Um, we believe that there's a really significant problem with respect to community disengagement, right? We're all divided, we're all isolated in many ways, whether it's the pandemic hangover or you know, uh, bunker mentality. And too many people are living their lives through Amazon and their social feed and, uh, I got gotcha. you. Uh, basically isolated and we're not coming together and we're not interacting. And that's really affecting things like rural communities especially because they have to interact to get the most out of their community. So the problem that we're solving here is that isolation and the impact, and especially on local businesses. And everyone feels it. Um, th there's this need to get people back in the door, but everybody can live their life through homes because that's what the pandemic taught them. So that's the problem that we're addressing. Did I move? All right. Um, did I go one fast? Oh, so our how. The way that we're going to do this is we're going to facilitate events and engagements that, and experiences in communities like farmer's market or a food truck rally or a movie night where we're bringing people in together, both businesses, vendors, as well as patrons and people from the community to get to meet each other, to get, start to understand who we are and that we don't just share a zip code but that we actually can be a community and that we can find a lot of the things that we need here at home, especially in the smaller towns. Right? But what? So what we are is we are a local membership and Part of that local membership includes both vendors and families. And part of that is everyone in that membership interacts and gets the economy of scale together, sort of becoming your own Costco, if you will, as a local community to get those benefits and to understand that what can I get locally before I have to look elsewhere. And so we want to read all these processes and understanding and it basically, uh, move this forward, community activation in a box, right? And so, you, businesses, you have your established brick and mortars, you have you, people who attend farmers markets regularly, but we also have families, moms and pops, who's got grandma's recipe that makes amazing cookies, and they can make them in a huge batch, but they're retired, they're on a fixed income, 
but they could come to a farmer's market and they could come and make 500 to a thousand dollars in one Saturday a month and that could be powerful for them but that bridge of like well what do I have to do to become a vendor right will help make that sort of plug and play so that we can get what is really the long tail of the small community all of the families who have something they have some something they make something they know how to make and they can supplement themselves their families and also bring it to their community all right Ten seconds. Wow. so the idea of this process is to make it scalable and spread it across as many communities as possible there are there are 3,000 roughly in America cities of 10,000 people or more and the idea is that you start each community getting them set up so that they can thrive for themselves before they have to look elsewhere for help one and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who picked three minutes? <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Sarah, CEO, co-founder of Barnell Precision Ag. We are deploying the autonomous nano tractor as a service to create time and budget savings for small farmers. Um, small farms are disappearing due to no labor and extreme weather. We've seen that this year and we'll continue to see that year after year. The small farmer However, grows 40% of our food and are 88% of active U.S. producers. Without them, we will not survive as a community or as populations or within our food supply. To solve this problem, we have uh, uh, autonomous nano tractors is what we call them, small farm robots, and we do this as a service. Um, these units are fully autonomous. They do a number of different tasks from weeding to planting to harvesting. Their main goal is to help farmers reduce labor costs while implementing regenerative practices. <clears throat> um, our market for this is a $3 billion market uh, just for weeding only as we continue to add services onto that. Um, the opportunity increases. Our kind of target market, however, is the smaller um, specialty crop producer, whereas there's, there's 320 million acres of harvested cropland. Um, we're focused on a slightly different market than just uh, grazing for cattle. Um, so our, our kind of uh, range in where farmers are located, um, really the only area that we don't have active growers is California, and that's just because that's the, the large producer is really focused out there. Um, so eventually we'll get there, but for now we're focused on the rest of the United States. Um, we do this as a service, starting with weeding this season. Um, we will add spraying, uh, broadcasting, which is seeding, soil sampling, and other different services to help the grower, and then also help implement the, the regenerative practices that will continue to improve yields, improve soil health, and continue having our small farmers grow for us. We start at $38.50 per acre, which is a third of a, of a hand weeding labor budget. Um, this also saves farmers probably about a week or two in just hours, and we're hoping um, if Barn Owl is successful that farmers will take that savings and their extra hours and go on summer vacation, which just doesn't exist for them. We do have competition. There is a lot of uh, development in this industry. I would say some of them, Greenfield Robotics, NAIO is a French company, small farm robots doing different things. Uh, Monarch is an autonomous tractor and then it just continues going from uh, laser weeding robots to uh, autonomous drones as well. <coughs> we have many early adopters, um, some here in the Fremont area, a lot in the La Junta area. Um, we operate in northern and western Colorado as well. We have clients on hold in Kansas, Arkansas, and Wyoming. Uh, and then this is our team. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you. Cool. Well, thanks everybody for the opportunity. Um, really grateful to be here tonight. I'm James with GuestNav, and I'm just going to hop right in. So, currently in the advertising world right now, believe it or not, um, businesses are missing out on an opportunity. And the opportunity is they lack really a way to um, address customers or potential customers real time, 24-7, in really otherwise hard to reach places right now. And that's, I think that we have a really great solution for that. So, enter GuestNav. Um, we help target customers, potential customers, clients for advertisers through a variety of different ways. Um, our bread and butter right now is hotel internet landing pages. 
in-room TV advertising, hotel room key cards, uh, mass transit Wi-Fi advertising, and hopefully coming soon, sporting arenas. And it works like this. So essentially, you go to a hotel, you check in, go to your room, get the room key, hop on the Wi-Fi, and that's where GuestNav makes that connection with the guest. And we pop up on the internet landing page, and we prominently display an ad for uh, one of our clients. And it works likewise if you're in an airport or a uh, mass subway terminal, something, what have you, it works the same way. Um, so right now we're addressing a pretty big market. And as you can see, the total addressable market is $350 billion annually, and that's worldwide. Um, the serviceable addressable market for us is $32 billion, and we're just actually going for our goal right now is the $800 million market share. Um, we get there through a variety of different ways, primarily through direct sales right now and partnerships, but we hope to expand that soon. Um, right now, we've actually made some really good traction, and I'm really happy to share this with everybody right now. Uh, we have a partnership with Choice Hotels, which is a nationwide contract for us. That brings us 400,000 rooms to display advertising in. Uh, that's across 5,400 properties across all 50 states, and that's 23 brands. Um, we also work with Vinci Airports, and they have two international airports in the Dominican Republic that we offer our product to as well. And coming soon, we're proud to uh, announce that we are um, in the no negotiations, excuse me, with Wyndham Hotels and Best Western. Um, right now, we this is just to kind of show you our traction and how well we're doing. Um, we recently uh, really signed two really big deals formidable for us, ExpressVPN and Grubhub. Um, that will be displayed in our choice portfolio. Uh, we're expecting Blue Triton and Bose to close this soon as well. But right now, we are currently cash flow positive, and we do that uh, through monetizing all of the idle inventory that we have. Um, and that's through programmatic advertising. And right now, um, excuse me, in April 2022, we had 9.8 million monthly users on our platform. That's combined with all of our uh, portfolios and uh, just to kind of go over the uh, competition really quickly uh, we hit all the, we check all the boxes but um, if you're looking to go advertise Google or meta um, it's a little difficult because you don't get a uh, dedicated account manager and all that's so I'm gonna jump so uh, right now we're looking for 750 grand um, Oops, I'm going really fast. Uh, Brian Bassett's our CEO. He's in the back. I'm CTO. Lenny is our CFO. He's not here. And I'm going to open up for questions. So. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Spinning Mandalas is the next generation meditation platform. We at Spinning Mandalas are super excited to bring creativity and community to the meditation space. Most apps out there available currently are just about you. And at Spinning Mandalas, we believe just because meditation is an introspective practice does not mean we cannot share how we get there. Uh, Spinning Mandalas is based on your chakra energy centers. Uh, we, have, we are showcasing curated art, audio visual experience. Uh, each area is matched with a relevant binaural frequency to match the chakra area desired to work on. We've got all kinds of great features. You can change the speeds, cast your television, make full screen. We also have some other solutions coming. There'll be an actual downloadable smart TV app and will also be available on computer soon. Currently available on phone and tablet for all platforms. Uh, we have a custom area where as the library of music and everything expands, you'll be able to custom build your own mandala utilizing all the different art available, change the colors, make it any way you like. We just entered version two of this build. So you'll be able to share these between other users, you're gonna be able to record your own mantras, post these to a board where people can vote on them and share with it, an interactive journal, some timers and reminders, some progress tracking. This is going to be a very exciting experience once it's all complete. We have an education center that showcases all this information in a very basic way. This is kid friendly all the way from five to 90. We want any and everyone to use this. There's even animated videos, makes it even easier. Um, uh, meditation app space currently about a four billion dollar market uh, projected by 2030 to be reaching around 50 billion and so we would like to call them in headspace we come in at about level just barely under a dollar a week 
So we are about 60% of the price of Common Headspace, our largest competitors. The current third space in that uh, field seems undefined. We'd like to start there. Uh, and I think that's it. Are you pretty close? Wow, two minutes, great. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>